Well, John Seidel is a master storyteller, formerly the editor-in-chief of I Am Second. His passion is helping people overcome anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. Now he's put what he's learned from his own life and the stories of over 6,000 prominent people into a powerful new book. It's called Finding Rest. Please welcome to the show, John Seidel. John, good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I was very intrigued by the title of the book, Finding Rest. Yeah. Because not many people are finding rest. People are stressed. They're tense. What, what's happening to us? Yeah, you know, now more than ever, right? Yeah. The, the, the pandemic, right? We've seen even just, you know, I'm from Texas. Obviously, mental health is still a thing, right? And, and it's something that we're not addressing. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting about finding rest is uh, I don't treat rest as a destination. I treat it really as rest stops, mm. right? And so there are times in our lives where we need to find those rest stops. And when we do, that's where we find respite. That's where we meet the Lord in our struggles and our suffering. You wrote this book, and it's not just about other people. It's very personal. And you're very honest and candid about your own struggles dealing with depression. Uh, was that a therapeutic process to go through and to, to really disclose some things about yourself that a lot of people might not have felt comfortable in saying uh, that here's who I really am? Yeah, you know, I, I think, you know, we have an enemy that loves to um, um, make us secretive right, to, to have things in darkness, right? And so when we can talk about them and get them out, not only is it therapeutic, but I really think that, that Jesus honors that, mm. right? Where we're getting things out into the open and out of those deep, dark places. So it, it was therapeutic. It wasn't always easy though, as my wife could probably attest. <laughs> so there's a story that you tell that you needed help when you got the wrong sweetener. <laughs> Now that's a, I'm trying to figure out that whole process here. Yeah, I, I, you know, with anxiety and OCD, I wish it all made sense. But there yeah. was one day my, my beautiful wife and I were, were going and, and um, I said, hey, honey, I'm going to run to the bathroom. You get some coffee. You know I do not like Splenda. Please don't put Splenda in there. <laughs> and I grab the coffee. She brings it back and I drink it. And I, I you know, a classic spit yeah. take almost. And, but, it, but it threw me off. And I think anyone who has struggled with a mental health issue, mm. um, it, it threw me off. And it was looking at my wife, the one you love, right? Yeah. Just broken down and saying, John, this isn't normal. What about challenges when people in your family have passed away? Because yeah. that triggers for a lot of people, deep depression, a deep sense of hopelessness. Right, and so, you know, in, in two years, I lost my sister in a wrong way crash on the interstate that mm. was not her fault. And um, it, was, it was devastating. And then a few years later, my stepdad, who was the strong man of faith that really brought our family to the mm. Lord, um, died of a stroke just oh. randomly. And it's in those moments, you know, I love C.S. Lewis. I named my son after C.S. Lewis. Mm. And he talks about how um, we are forced at times to really um, say, do we really believe this? And so what I learned through those experiences is what I call a proper theology of suffering. And it comes down to this, where we do not judge God by our circumstances, but we judge our circumstances by mm. who we know God is. Mm. And uh, those two deaths so close together made me realize, listen, I can't judge my circumstances uh, or judge God by my circumstances. I have to do it the other way around. John, there's so many Christian believers who are afraid to say, I'm having some issues, whether it's OCD or other mental health concerns, because they, they think, I'm a Christian. I'm supposed to be happy all the time. I'm not supposed to have these issues. Yeah. But Christians do have these issues. Yeah, and I would say, tell that to Paul, right? You know, you know <laughs> yeah. Paul talks about the thorn <laughs> in his flesh. I mean, even tell that to Jesus, who in the garden is saying, he's going through such anguish that he's, he's sweating blood, right? If, I, mm. if that doesn't sound like anxiety to me, I don't know what is, yeah. right? And so I think what, what we have been called to do is to live in community and to be open about these things. And, and I'm just so encouraged, everyone, you know, I was talking to Eric Metaxas the other day, who has come out and talked about his own battles with depression. And when we do that, those things lose power over us. And it's so sweet. I think it's uh, a great message for us. Forward is by Kirk Cameron. I talked to him this morning, by the way. Oh, great. Great guy, wonderful brother in Christ. 
And uh, the book is Finding Rest. I, I think it would be very helpful, especially if you're struggling with uh, your own sense of anxiety, OCD, just mental health and feeling stressed out. I hope you'll go to Huckabee.tv. We will connect you to John's website. That's where you can order Finding Rest and connect directly with John.